I'm Katie Parla. I'm a Rome-based food writer, and today I'm looking for Rome-inspired pizza in New York City. When you say the word pizza in Rome, the definition depends on the context. If you say it in the morning, uh, that means a little sliver of pizza rosa or pizza bianca. If you say pizza in the afternoon, that means pizza al taglio, pizza by the slice. The Brooklyn Bread Lab is doing sort of new wave style of pizza by the slice with liberal toppings and nice flavor and color contrasts. When I say new wave pizza, I'm sort of referring to the unofficial name of uh, a style that diverges from the tradition by doing a long, often multiple day, cold fermentation, um, which requires a whole new set of techniques and flowers and um, experience. We're at the Brooklyn Bread Lab in Bushwick. It's a pretty new project and one that's super special for Brooklyn and really for the bread world. Yeah, no, especially for me too. I got to uh, get my hands on a three and a half ton mill, which hasn't happened to me before. How does it go down? The grain goes in here? The grain goes in here. Tricky wheat in Kansas. This is a uh, hard winter wheat. It just means that it's planted in the wintertime and then gets harvested in August. Get the green button, green means go. So now I'm going to turn it in here and you're going to smell it. Let me bring it back. Oh, okay, it goes into this hopper and if we choose to sift, uh -huh. that's what this big piece does. Whoa! That's so cool. It's <laughs> like really... Old CF? Yeah. But when it gets mixed, you can see that it kind of clumps together with all those essential oils. That's what you're looking for with this. Great. Yeah. I love it. This will hydrate um, the flour slowly, mm -hmm. which will shorten your mix time. When you visit Rome like, yeah. and taste the pizza, what are some of the, like, flavors and aromas that come to mind for you? What I come to find out is that the Sicilian pizza I knew was very much an American thing. And it was like that doughy, kind of like wet, sweet, sweet, which I still love. Um, but the one, the ones in Rome kind of took my heart. And they're crispy, yet very moist. They're square and long, and they would fold them up, put them in like paper for me, which was so unique. Really hot. This is at 595 degrees. Chanterelles in there cooked yeah. in with a little bit of garlic. Just an even spread. How did the ideas come to you? I always try to say the work more or less has been done and documented for all of us. So if you open up like a good cookbook and start looking and reading between the lines a little bit, but in the way where you see like ketchup pepe, like in you know, your book. And it's like pepper and pecorino. I bet you a pepper and pecorino pizza would be pretty good. Okay. Soft. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Lots of aromas coming from the dough. Really beautiful texture and like very crispy on the bottom and outside, but really soft in the middle. Thanks. Nailed it. Mmm. This is pretty good. Mm -hmm. This has been my Rome-themed pizza tour of New York, and I've spent the day tasting Rome without ever leaving the city.